season that a lot of the reaction in the market is is tied quite closely to dividends. If they miss on the dividend, they get sold off heavily. If they have a decent dividend, they see a, a fairly good increase in their share price. And a lot of people taking it as some sort of proxy for, for confidence. But do you think there could be a little bit more of a, a sneaky sort of play here by some of these companies, maybe trying to mask or hide the fact that they've missed the target by increasing the dividend? I think Suncorp Metway, while it has missed consensus targets, has still seen quite strong growth and the fact that it has come up with a special dividend will be enough to lift its share price today. What we have seen are companies that have increased their dividend more than expected or come out with special dividends or capital returns have been well rewarded by the share market uh, this reporting season. And part of that is, invest, uh, is investors' appetite uh, for uh, dividends and getting back some of the profit and I guess just the defensive nature of the market. And if we have a look at a stock uh, like Suncorp, it is very much a defensive stock. It's a stock that performs well in recessions as well as good times. And the insurance space is one that's it has it been expected to be a standout this reporting season, expecting growth of 32%, a very defensive sector with great pricing power. We've seen a lot less uh, big catastrophes and the potential growth being driven by underperformance in Australia. So if we have a look at Suncorp Metway's result, um, it actually has come in below expectations, but net profit actually up by a massive 60% to $724 million. That was below our expectations of $780 million. Cash profit coming in at $819 million, but that special dividend is what I think will lift the share price today. We know that this is a stock, this is a company that had a very high franking balance and it does look like it's returning some of those franking credits to shareholders and I think they'll be pretty happy today. What's on that CSL results? So now this is the world's largest uh, producer of therapeutic uh, blood plasma products. And we know that CSL is one that we've been watching because of its exposure to Europe. 32% of global sales comes from Europe. And yet despite that, they have come out with a very strong profit result. Now if we have a look at profit, there was a big hit because of FX, um, because so much of its sales comes from overseas. So it's net profit up by 4.5%, but in constant currency terms, an increase of 16%. We've seen strong growth across its major products and China, key driver of um, uh, it's li uh, what's being used as uh, in I guess liver disease at the moment um, so altogether very strong result coming through from CSO now this is a stock which has increased quite strongly over the last year and today I'm, uh, I think we'll see quite a positive share price performance on the back of this very strong result coming through from CSL and the potential for another 900 million dollar buyback